on my video yesterday about my Contra. Sorry not playing it today. Um, I don't have time to practice the Contra. I need to be playing this. And that's not the worst thing in the world. Anyway, someone commented about their friend having a hard time playing low and sounding big and playing loud and stuff. Um, I get comments um, and questions like that pretty often, actually. And so I thought I would address it a little bit in, uh, in three parts here. So first thing is um, in order to play low, um, your air has to be going a certain speed. Um, my teacher Jim talks about, uh, my former teacher Jim talks about um, kind of the, the U shape of air. Um, at the tops of the ramp, see, like imagine this is a skateboard ramp, right? Um, the, the half pipe, there we go. Um, at the top of each of those half pipes, you have Double pedal B flat on the low side um, for you guys. Double pedal B flat over here, and on the other side, um, double high B flat, like super high, super low. So for those notes, you need a ton of air. And as you go, and you know, air is on this axis. As, as you go towards the middle of the range, and in the middle of the range, you have just low B flat and tuning B flat, the one right on top of the staff. Those don't really need a lot of air. Um, and as you move farther away from those in the extremes, you need more. Um, but the thing is, you need more air on those extremes, but they have to be different speeds. As you go high, as you go towards the high end of the, uh, the arc, you need faster air, and as you go lower, you need slower air. So I'll demonstrate that real fast. And of course, you're not going to be really able to tell, but this should work. My air is coming out very slowly, very warmly, but it is a lot of air. I can't play pedal B flat for a really long time. Air is coming out a little bit faster, but there's really not that much air on a low B flat on like Meso Forte. It doesn't take a lot to play. Maybe a little tiny bit more air on tuning B flat, but. Uh, probably even a little less on most instruments. It's just not a hard note to play, but it is going faster than it was on the low B flat. And now I'm using a lot more air than I was using on tuning B flat and low B flat, and it's going way faster, and it's going down. Um, that's just kind of the way I play, and a lot of um, downstream people play. As you go up, the airstream will start to go this way as you go up. Up. And so as you go lower, the airstream typically kind of goes straight forward or maybe even up. I'm not going to talk about that so much because that really depends on your embouchure type. But anyway, that gives you a demonstration of as you go lower, the air needs to be slower, it needs to be warmer, and it needs to be relaxed coming out. So if you switch that around and try and play the ranges, you know, like reversed, and use really slow air for high B flat, that's when you get that kind of like. You can't nail the sound. It's very wide and very kind of unfocused. That's because the air is too slow and you're using too wide of an aperture to make it happen. And if you try and use faster for pedal B flat, you can't start the note because the, the instrument doesn't want to resonate with that kind of air going through it. And it usually sounds really bad if you do get it to happen. And it's probably too loud, right? Instead of... which is very relaxed, very easy. So, first things first, nice, slow, relaxed air in the lower register. And of course, the opposite, um, not unrelaxed air is the higher register, but faster air. Um, the next thing is, what was the next thing? I had three things. Oh, the face. So, um, I find a lot of tenor players that are not good at the low register are just using too much muscle, too much face to play in the low register. Um, as we go higher, of course, we're going to use a little more um, musculature, we're going to use more of the corners to play up high. Um, and that's not to say that you don't use any in the low register. The problem about the low register is it's a, a combination of the, um, the use of those chops and the rela relaxation of those chops. It's like any other register, but if you're too relaxed, then we get flabby 
kind of crappy sounds like that, you know, like the, um, and I'm not saying cheeks puffing is bad all the time, but you know, kind of just like flabby, um, things are just kind of like not engaged. Um, and that's just not good sounds. You still have to use, you still have to use some kind of chops to play in that range. But if you use too much, and you just try and muscle everything, we get that same kind of, typically faster air because you're kind of constricting everything down too much. So the chops really have to be relaxed, but also using the focus to make a nice, consistent aperture. Some of you guys who can play low, kind of low, but have kind of a cap on your pedals, um, that's typically because either you're relaxing way too much and you can't keep the aperture together, and it just kind of disappears, or you have everything constricted too much and you're not allowing that slow air to go through. Kind of does that instead. Instead of where you're doing both at the same time, you're using some chops to make a nice consistent round aperture, and you're letting that nice air through um, in a relaxed manner. And the last thing is playing in the center of the instrument. Um, a lot of people don't realize, and I made a video on this, this is one of the first videos I made on YouTube, um, probably 10 years ago now, that the positions change when you use valves and stuff, right? The positions are not always the same. So, for instance, if you play low E flat, it's in a pretty different spot. It's almost a position off, um, almost in real fourth position. I still think of it as third, but that's just me. Um, and the best way, of course, is to relate those to an octave above. So if you have a, if you have to play a low D really loud, and you're just not really sure where it is on the instrument, one, tune your F attachment to F if you're going to be playing low a lot. Mine actually sounds a little low right now. Those feel pretty much the same to me. I like that. Uh, it feels good. And then, once you get that down, find D in the style. So now you know where that is. It feels pretty good to play through the center on that side. Hopefully you can do that, of course. And then you just put down the valve and find out where it is with the valve down. People, and this is a super common tendency, and you could hear it yesterday in my contra video, is to trend sharp. Just want to be a little farther in. Um, and I, th I think this is because, and I'm not totally sure, but this is a pretty reasonable um, assumption, it's because people want to hear themselves, and it's easier to hear yourself if you play sharp. If you play just a little bit higher than you think it actually is, than you want it to be. If you play higher, you can hear yourself, and so you kind of go, oh, yep, I'm playing the right note, great. Um, when actually, you kind of need to sink into that pitch a little bit and just relax into it. Um, you heard me doing that in the Contra video on like uh, low A flat. Uh, there's another note too where I was just playing too high. I was not going all the way out in those positions. And of course, I'm not used to that instrument at all, um, and that's my excuse. <laughs> but I, I do find that a lot, and people, um, just tend to want to play a little far in. Um, for instance, on low C, low C on my instrument, the way I have this tuned, is basically straight up fourth position. And I, I see younger players just kind of trend that in a little bit. They'll play to like third, and it's like, no man, that's gotta be far out there. Same thing with B. not sure about that right now. You can hear me kind of missing some of those attacks because that's farther in than I've had it in the past. That's weird. Anyway, you got to play in the middle of the horn. And of course, good exercises for that, um, and I've demonstrated this before, are glisses.
You can really tell when you mess up a glyph because the sound will not sound the same. For instance, if I try to go to D, but don't go all the way out, I kind of get that half, half sound. It's almost like a false tone. It doesn't even sound as good as a false tone. You gotta get all the way out there. And there it is. That's basically the three tenets um, to playing good stuff in the low range. And of course that airspeed needs to be constant. Um, it needs to stay that speed from the beginning of a note to the end. Um, a lot of people try to start a note with like too slow of air or too fast and then kind of even it out as it goes so it ends up sounding good but the attack isn't good. You can hear me do that a lot when I miss attacks. Um, that's because I'm not just instantly starting the note with a correct air. Um, and there's some other stuff you can work on too. I can post more videos about this. But that's the basic gist of it. Um, those three things, air, um, tension in the face, and playing the middle of the horn. See you guys next time.